Hi everyone, I'm going to talk to you about a question that has been asked to me many times and I feel like I've never been able to do justice to the answer. So the question is, you know, why did you become a physics major in college? I first got exposed to physics in 2011, I believe. It was my junior year of high school and I took my first physics class. It was just Newtonian based physics and it was just transformative. I think it was so fun. I was really afraid going into it because I had taken chemistry and I had taken biology and I just I just didn't really like the science subjects to be honest up until that point. Uh, I didn't really have the best experiences in those classes. I did okay in those classes but they were hard and I thought physics was just going to be even harder than that. Uh, my math wasn't that good at the time. I uh, just really was struggling with the concepts in math at that point. I think I was taking pre-calculus concurrently with my first physics class and it was physics that really opened up my eyes to the math. Like physics gave me an application to apply the math to and it made sense as to why am I doing the math steps that I'm doing. And I think that's what really opened up uh, just my, my passion and my love for it. And I think just you know, it was just fun. It was just really fun. It really gave me confidence in my math ability because I really wasn't that good at math at the time. And then um, my senior year, I ended up taking AP Physics. And I took AP Calc AB uh, concurrently with that. Um, and that was sort of a repeat, a repeat, you know, of uh, what I'd done before, just at a little bit faster pace and a little bit harder. But I had seen most of the material the year before, so I was pretty confident in my ability to do most of it, but um, I think a lot of people have trouble with rotational stuff. So once we got to like the rotational stuff, so once we got to like torques, moment of inertia, you know, those sort of topics towards the end of the course, it really was throwing me for a loop. And um, I just didn't feel, but I didn't feel like I couldn't get it. You know, I felt like with physics, one of the best things my physics teacher did for us was that he would make you, um, he would make you if you took a test and you got some questions wrong, he would make you redo the parts that you got wrong for credit. So if you wanted credit back, you could redo the parts of the test you got wrong. But he just made you redo the problem like 10 times with you know 10 different sets of numbers. So you just got a lot, a lot of practice. And of course, I, I wanted to learn. I wanted to you know get the points back so I could up my grade. So I remember just you know practicing the same kinds of physics problems over and over again and just sort of developing, you know, an intuition for it. So that was it at the high school level. You know, that was sort of the, the story uh, of my high school physics experience. It was great. Uh, I didn't end up passing the high school uh, AP test, unfortunately. So I got a two on the AP physics test. But um, hey, you know, I have a degree in physics now, so turns out okay. I guess you don't have you don't have to pass the AP physics test to get a degree in physics. And so when I went to college, I thought, you know, how can I, you know, take this newfound, you know, just passion uh, for physics and math, and how can I, you know, how can I use it? And I thought of engineering. You know, I thought engineering, yeah, you know, they use a lot of math, they use a lot of physics, it's very applied. I might like that. And my first year in college, I was, you know, taking just general courses, general physics and math courses that all of the, you know, STEM people have to take. And I just noticed that I just didn't share the kinds of interests the engineering students had. I, I didn't share in that. You know, my, my passion was figuring out why, you know, why doesn't my equation balance out or, you know, just wondering about these topics like relativity and quantum mechanics. I remember first hearing about them in some documentaries and just really wondering, like, what the heck is that all about? And I really wanted to know, you know, I really wanted to know more about them. And looking at the curricula, I mean, I just wasn't going to ever, you know, take those classes if I was on the engineering track. And and I think that's what the beauty about physics is. It's just you're able to learn about these concepts in a very general sense. And then you see it applied in more specific cases like chemistry or engineering. And I think, you know, the ability of physics to explain scientific phenomena, it's just, it's just unparalleled, you know. I think the different discoveries throughout the history of physics is just amazing and I just really want to be able to contribute to that you know continuous continuously growing body of knowledge
because it's just it's just like a fun idea you get to be part of something that you're contributing to the you know combined wealth of human knowledge in the entire history of humans so um you know that's kind of why i'm doing what i'm doing now and you know i was able to go through the the typical standard physics curricula at, 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 in college and i just remember yeah there's there, there's many times there that they actually would say like oh okay we're going to talk about this concept like i don't know spherical harmonics and well, we're never really going to go into that, so that's something you kind of learn in grad school. And I just remember thinking, like, oh, come on, like, let's talk about it. I want to know more. And I guess that's part of why I'm now in grad school as a, as a grad student in physics, because it's sort of this undying curiosity of, well, there's still more you can learn. And I think physics, that's just the, that's just the motto. There's more you can learn. There's always something more you can learn, because we don't know everything, right? We don't have a complete understanding of how everything works because we don't have a unified field theory yet there's still uh, no unification between or, or no successful experiments of the experimentally successful unification of quantum mechanics and general general relativity so until that happens we are we don't know the whole story and it's exciting trying to write the new pages of the story so i hope you got an idea uh, a sense of why i really like doing what i'm doing uh, I'm going to make more videos about the experience of being a physics major. I know there's other people on YouTube who have done these kind of videos, but I think that it would never hurt to have more. I think it would just be good to see if people you know, are curious about the major and want different perspectives that there are these kind of videos out there. So thank you for watching. Uh, tune in for more videos next time.